Gotta tell you a secret, I'm not a big fan of these big convention type events, the Computexes, the CESs, where all of the brands come together and tell you that this year is the latest and the greatest and you absolutely, definitely, super duper have to get this product. It will change your life and see you again next year where you're gonna hear the exact same thing about a different product. That said, I had never been to one of those big hyped up PR events. So at Computex this year, I was determined to do the opposite. I wanted to find things that were cool, but that were also useful and practical. Design trends that you can expect when you're building your own new PC, plus yung magagamit mo, hindi lang sila aesthetic or cool to look at, but useful, practical, forward-thinking design trends. And I found those, pero yung timeless talaga, yung kailangan mo in the future, now in the present, and what you even needed in the past, is Windows, and Windows is more convenient, activated, which you can do through our sponsor. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated Windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Code. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may sindiki ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com First up, screens on AIOs are so last year. This year, everything is super-sized, jumbo-sized, the larger the better. That is size matters for monitors and maybe for other things if you're of that persuasion. But this year, the size that everybody's focused on is the screen on top of your AIO CPU block. Now, there are already products on the market like Height's Thick Q60, which is yun, a massive screen, very nice looking. And then at Computex, we have the upcoming products like this unnamed one from ASUS where the screen is so long, you can bend it to wrap around the CPU block. You can also fold it straight so you have just a longer screen. MSI also had something similar. So all of the major brands are jumping in, supersizing that screen on the CPU block. You can really tell it's an arms race right now who can have the largest screen, who can attract the most attention. Things are gonna get ridiculous, but to be fair, the screens are very nice looking. E para saan ba lahat mga screens na yan? Yes, you can display videos and animated GIFs, but they are also functional as well, allowing you to see basic stats from your computer. So these fans have displays too, and they look very much like the Lee and Lee fans, and then the case also has readouts here. CPU load, GPU load, CPU temp, GPU temp, PSU wattage voltage, all of those things you can already look up now through software on your computer. Pero hassle sila hanapin. You have to go through so many windows, you have to turn on so many programs. Yung maganda sa screens already baked in, embedded into the hardware, lilingon ka lang sa computer mo, kita mo na lahat. And that ease of use, that added functionality, makes these screens super useful. Deepcool already started that trend last year with the digital series, and I'm using an AK620 digital air cooler behind me. I can attest from first-hand experience that it's very convenient. Because sometimes, di mo narandaman, nahihira pa na yung computer mo. Suddenly, CPU load spikes, suddenly it gets hot, and it's happened to me a number of times where I've looked at the computer like, I wasn't sure why it was spiking, but because I saw it was spiking, I just restarted the computer and everything was fine. Deepcool has doubled down on adding more screens to cases, to coolers, and lots of other brands are slapping screens on every possible component as well. The coolers, the cases, the PSUs. I'm really expecting some RAM to show up eventually, tapos may screen na rin dun. 
even the backs of laptops as in this concept laptop from ASUS ang ganda ng e-ink screen na to some of these logos look familiar can handle color well can last for a long time this is actually a product purely aesthetic it was all big about the usability thing at the intro but ito talaga purely aesthetic but it looks so nice so the more screens that get baked into the hardware I'm all for it perfect bridge I think between aesthetic you can customize them to show you what you want to see and the functional because the information that they can display is actually quite useful if the past five years or so have been dominated by the RGB aesthetic I'm thinking the next five years will be focused will be obsessed about the screen real estate of your computer and that won't refer to the monitors it will refer to the screens inside baked in embedded into your components speaking of embedded a new design feature is coming for a very old school component now if you think all those screens are unnecessary i kind of get your point so here's something that is very practical that still skews very close to the old school since the beginning of time those fans which we attach to the heat towers of air coolers were attached via clips now these clips are cheap, they're functional, they're practical, and to be honest, they really just kind of blend into the design of the cooler. Once you clip them, once you use them, you don't notice them at all. But they've always felt cheap to me. I mean, they're these very flimsy things. You're basically stretching them over the fan and then making them hang on to the side of the CPU tower. It doesn't feel very premium. But there is a trend now to do away with the clips and instead embed pegs or rails or some kind of frame into the heatsink and then the fan attaches pops in directly into the socket of the heatsink clips felt like a design that were thought of about the last minute ay pucha paano to sige gawin natin ng work around a temporary solution ad hoc these frames in the heatsinks feel like a permanent solution it's very satisfying to pop onto the fan. We've seen this recently with the Arctic Freezer 36. And Deepcool at Computex was also displaying some coolers following this design trend. With these frames or sockets, you instinctively know how to install the fans onto the cooler. Because humans are very good at plugging things into holes. It is second nature. That is what we do. You, we are literally here because people have figured out how to plug things into holes. And when you plug that fan into the heatsink, it feels very satisfying. Kind of like that last piece of Lego that you insert to complete the build. Speaking of fans, wiring them can be a pain, especially if you have multiple at the same time. In fact, one of the first videos that we ever did for Hardware Sugar was a guide on how to wire a basic NZXT RGB setup Fans, damning wires, more cable management, more fuss, more gulo, hassle. That's why this trend I really like. It makes things a lot simpler for people. And that is when the fans are magnets as well, or they clip together via magnets. And the more popular ones, the power even feeds through the frames. So there is very little wiring needed. Instead of having to daisy chain fans together, yes, you're linking fans together, but through a more intuitive approach because you're just connecting them via magnets, which naturally want to connect together already. A lot of the guesswork is eliminated because it's more intuitive to align the fans via magnets. And that's a really good thing. They make things a lot simpler for the builder. Last about fans na, I promise. There was also a small vendor medyo unknown so they were displaying fans so the normal regular fans with you know there are blades and they spin around but they're displaying images through the rotation of the blades the resolution of course is not as good as an actual screen but i was actually impressed with the image quality that these fans were showing we talked about how there are screens everywhere and this is an interesting way of slapping a screen onto a fan without the screen itself. Props for creativity, kind of curious to see if it will go mainstream. Another trend that we saw start last year, which is really reaching boiling point this year, are wooden accents on cases. So Fractal Design came out with a bunch of these cases last year, and they proved to be very popular, both critically and with users. High tech, inisip mo walang natural thing, and then may wood accent yung case mo. 
From the other vendors that I saw at Computex, sometimes the results are mixed because the wood can look a little light, kind of plasticky. Yung maganda kasi sa fractal design, yes, their cases are expensive, but you know that they're premium. In the materials used, in the thought of the design of the case. So the wood itself is not enough. You need to... The wood elevates the case when everything about the case is premium as well. So a lot of other manufacturers have jumped on the wood bandwagon. Not too sure if that's a good thing. It can be done right, but you need to see the case in person and you need to kind of imagine in your mind if that kind of aesthetic, that design choice, is the right one for your build. Bonus trend, one that I don't think is quite yet ready for prime time, is from Predator. They had these very interesting monitors that would display 3D images, no other hardware required. So no headset, nothing, you don't need to wear anything. So these are the Predator Spatial Labs monitors. I'm not quite sure about the tech behind them, but when I got to experience them, to be fair, the illusion of solidity. So that's the thing with 3D, right? I mean, you have to imagine, you have to believe that there's something there in front of you even though there isn't. For fixed static objects, like I was doing an airplane demo when you're like in a Cessna, like one of the smaller airplanes, and you have a lot of different gauges and handles in front of you. Yun, if it's a kind of static looking image that should be 3D, yung hahawakan mo like a handle, it almost feels realistic. But if it's moving, like the actual buildings on the ground, like if you're in an airplane or like if a bird flies in front of you, that felt really off. Like you know what they're going for, but they just haven't quite gotten there yet. And to be fair, I don't know if these things are production models. I don't think so. My companion with me at Computex mentioned that he also saw them last year. So maybe this is a work in development. So not expecting to see these anytime soon in the general market. And I hope they don't release them as is because there's a really weird divide. You're not getting the kind of graphic resolution that you expect from high-end monitors like OLED monitors for gaming. And you're not getting the same kind of 3D spatial awareness, that kind of illusion that you're there somewhere else that you get from VR headsets. So I'm a Computex virgin no more. Really kind of doubtful, to be honest, at first about these big conferences where brands throw hype at you, but I really enjoyed the experience. Thank you again to ASUS for sponsoring my trip there. There's so many impressions of Computex that, you know, I wanted to share, but parang I don't think as a standalone video, it would do well. Um, you know, just me kind of like reminiscing and kind of like, oh, impressions and things like that. So I thought this kind of more focused approach would work better. But I do want to say that one of the things I really liked about Computex wasn't the hardware, which was interesting, which was fascinating. Love to just walk around and see, oh, bago. Oh, ito, nakita ko to. Oh, I'd like that in my own rig. I mean, yes, that is a part of it. But what I really also was impressed about with Computex was the variety of people. It wasn't just like males aged 20 to 40 and older, i.e. me. <laughs> but, you know, there were women, there were young people, there were old people, there were sometimes even families. No brand will hype that up. But it's always nice to see that something that you're really interested in, that you're very enthusiastic about, that enthusiasm, hindi lang sayo, like it radiates out to an entire community, an entire diverse set of people. And with that, thank you for listening to my enthusiastic um, going on about Computex, and I'll see you next video. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.